Crisis Religion here, and today I am back with another video. And guys, I am here with the long-awaited Photoshop Touch Tutorial Series. And guys, this has been a long-awaited series. A lot of you guys have been asking how I do my thumbnails and stuff. So this is going to be a series where I'll tell you a little bit of tips and tricks on what you can do to make your thumbnail creating life just a little bit easier. But guys, for episode one, I'm going to be talking about custom borders. What a custom border is basically, I have my thumbnail, but the custom border is all of this stuff. It's like light blue around the edge, which is basically the border. And you can see it's it's not exactly a square around it. I have this little edge down here. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. So um, basically, let me just do this. And you know, you're going to hit the little plus button at the bottom and hit empty layer. So now you have this little empty layer down here. Now I'm just going to delete my example layer. And here we go. So I'm going to make it a little smaller and click my um, square selector tool. Mark, mark we. I don't know, uh, it's fancy words, fancy words. You guys are just going to take the entire thing and select it like that. So now we have a line around the entire thing. Go click this and button, hit fill and stroke, and we'll stroke it. I already have this blue color selected, so we'll just go with that. So now, as you can see, I have a stroke around the edge. So now I'm just going to go up here and deselect it so it's like this. Now what I'm going to go do now is to FX and Glow. This, you can set to whatever color you want. So it has this little glow effect, but I think personally black looks the best, just because it kind of gives it a little shadow effect, makes it look like it's a shadow, pretty much like a drop shadow. And now what I want you, now what I'm, not what I'm gonna want you guys to do, what I'm gonna teach you is how to do that little like line thing on the corner, and that's gonna, look, it makes tons of things look so much better. It's especially good for series thumbnails, because you can put your little number like episode one, episode two, down in that little spot. But what we're gonna do for that is create another empty layer, take your polygon selection tool, which is this little jagged looking thing, and draw out where you're going to want it. So I'm just going to do this little triangle at the bottom, then you're going to hit the and button, and fill and stroke. So you're going to go to fill and stroke, and instead of stroke, you're going to click fill so it fills the entire thing with that color. As you guys can see, make sure you have it on this, a second layer, because if it's on the other layer, it doesn't work. But now, as you can see, we have the, um, the triangle on top of the regular stuff you did. But you can see there's not the shadow effect on the triangle. In order to get that, we're just going to go to effects, glow, and it's going to glow down that whole thing. Now, the problem is, right here, it glows on the edge. But the simple fix, you're just going to go to the bottom layer with your regular stroke, go to your magic wand tool, click the edge so it just selects the blue area, and you're just going to go back to the triangle and hit clear. So now that gives it a whole entire thing, but there are some little lines. This may not happen to you, but it does happen to me a lot. So, simple fix, just go to your paint tool, select your color, and just paint over it, which easily fixes it, makes it look a lot better, and it overall good appearance. So let me just finish this up real quick, and I'll get into the last part of the tutorial. I'm going to keep the paint tool. So now, guys, you see, you have this awesome looking custom logo, you have the Minecraft logo at the top, renders and this little side, whatever you want to do. But now, whatever, what also is cool is, you see how it's kind of jagged? Maybe you want to smooth it out some, so you're going to take your little paint tool, and I'm just going to get run. That wasn't good at all. Come on. Undo. There we go. Come on. I'm just going to go and do like that, and it makes it look really smooth. It makes it look a little bit not as jagged. Let's do it up here. And there we go, guys. So now look how smooth that looks. It's amazing. And just to show you guys a little thing, extra, you see how it's two layers? Just to make it a little smaller. Go down, hit merge visible, or merge down, whatever you want, makes it one whole layer. And now just to show you some something guys, I'm just going to go in the back to my albums, go into shaders, just grab a random shader picture, put it in the back like this, just fill it up in the screen, put it behind there, and look at that guys, doesn't that look amazing? So guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, please leave a like, and also maybe if you do this yourself, show me a picture on Twitter of what you think, if you need any more help, either rerun the video, maybe DM me on Twitter, whatever you guys want to do. Also, guys, I want you to think of a little bit better name for the series in the description. Tweet or messages, but set, think of a better name. I kind of like Photoshop Touch Tutorial Series, but that's kind of tedious to say. So if you can think of something short, I'm um, gonna yeah, do that. There is a thing called a Photoshop Playbook, which the Adobe Photoshop channel does. But I'm not gonna copy their idea. But if you have any like clever kind of wordplay kind of things like that, please send it to me in the comments or on Twitter. But yeah, guys, like I said, please do like this video and possibly subscribe for Pog Edition news, updates, Photoshop tutorials, and more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.